One of the things I love doing on this channel is reviewing unique debit cards. And the Uphold debit card is exactly that. With every other debit card I've reviewed, you get lots of benefits, but you can only use one currency, USD, also known as the American dollar. Not only does the Uphold card give you more currency options to choose from, it also gets you that sweet, sweet cash back. So let's get into it. Hello, I'm Caleb. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about rewards debit cards, then start now by hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Gonna need a haircut soon. The Uphold debit card is probably the most unique debit card that I've seen since the Yada debit card, which actually gives you extra lottery tickets for the purchases that you make. For, it sounds like I'm talking about like a code or something. <laughs> I actually ran across the Uphold debit card because I use a browser called Brave. Brave provides the option for you to earn while you browse by allowing privacy respecting ads. And for each of those ads that you see, you receive 70% of that ad revenue. This actually sounds like an ad for Brave and it's not, but I am a fan of it. That revenue is paid out to you using a cryptocurrency called BAT or basic attention token. And you can access that cryptocurrency through a digital wallet provided by Uphold. Uphold is essentially a trading platform that allows you access for purchasing 27 national currencies, 65 digital currencies, and four precious metals all from one app. Their tagline is anything to anything, meaning whatever currency you want can be gotten by trading any currency that you have. For example, I can trade all the basic attention tokens I have for Bitcoin or Ethereum or Cardano or the Euro or even silver, which is a little weird since you don't get physical silver when you purchase it. Regardless, it opens up a lot of options for you, which is where the debit card comes in. Many debit cards I've reviewed have lots of features and benefits, not the uphold card. It's very simple, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It means it's easier to understand what you're getting and not getting with your card. There are two features that this card has, so let's look at the first. The first feature is that the Uphold debit card allows you to use any currency you own within your account to make a purchase, as long as you have enough of that currency, of course. So let's say you own basic attention tokens, maybe some Bitcoin, some Ethereum, and some silver. And when you wanna use your debit card to purchase something, all you have to do is choose the currency within the app that you wanna use for the purchase. Mine, since the only thing I have are basic attention tokens, is set up to automatically use basic attention tokens for the purchase that I made. The second feature is that this card offers cash back in whatever currency you use. 1% on purchases made with the US dollar and 2% on purchases made with cryptocurrency. When you buy in Bitcoin, you get cash back in Bitcoin. It's actually a pretty cool feature. Now, before we get to the cons, we gotta thank our sponsor, Lights. Without Lights, about three quarters of my videos would be about the same as an iTunes podcast. <sighs> see what I mean? And you wouldn't be able to see my book. Link in the description. So, thank you, Lights. Oh, whoops. Ah, nice. Thanks, Lights. Okay, here's the only con that I have for the account and the debit card. They charge you a spread when you make a trade. A spread is basically the fee that's associated with a trade or conversion. It's a bit complicated for this video, but basically it's what a lot of trading platforms do. And I'm not blaming them because this kind of service isn't free to provide. They have to be able to cover their expenses somehow, but it's something to keep in mind. You don't want to be converting money in your account right and left because you're going to be losing money on all the spread and conversion costs. So I'd recommend if you plan to spend with the Uphold debit card, just use whatever currency you have. And that's the benefit of the card anyways, is that you can use whatever currency you have to pay for things. The good news is they're pretty transparent with their fees and you won't see any hidden costs associated with the trades. Just keep in mind that Uphold isn't a free platform. And the downside of the debit card is that when you sign up, you get a free virtual debit card, but no physical card, which you can get a physical card. It's just, it's gonna cost you 10 bucks. Boo. And that's why I don't have the physical card because I'm not planning on making it a significant part of our financial life. So I'm fine with just using the virtual card. And with the virtual card, you can use it to pay for things online as well as hook it up to say Apple Pay so that you can use wireless payment methods with your phone or your watch in a store. Having said all that, Uphold is a unique debit card and still provides some cash back. Well, weird only having a virtual card and not a physical card. Come on, I'm always talking about saving money though. Would you have really wanted me to spend $10 on a physical card? Not the most feature rich card that I've looked at, but it is pretty cool. So if you found this helpful, then give it a like because it really helps my channel. And I'd be honored if you stuck around and hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments down below if you think I need a haircut. And remember, money doesn't have to be confusing. You can control it. If you'd like to see my most recent rewards debit card video, then check out this video up here. It's probably a little high. And if you'd like to see a playlist all about my reviews of cashback debit cards, then check out this playlist down here.